Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu has met President Recep Tayyip Erdogan to present his formal resignation following Sunday's general election. It's a purely procedural move as once the official results are published, possibly not until next week, Davutoglu will be tasked with forming a new cabinet. His AK party, which failed to win a majority in the parliamentary vote, could try to rule alone in a minority government, but it's expected to at least try to form a coalition, possibly with the nationalist MHP party. The pro-Kurdish HDP party, which won a historic 13% of votes, has firmly ruled out teaming with the AKP, but its entrance to parliament brings fresh hope for peace talks aiming to end a 30-year-old conflict between Kurdish rebels and Turkey's government forces. The HDP's leader Salahattin Dermirtas said, the peace process will continue in one way or another. We all need peace. Those who are speaking on behalf of the old government should not take any anti-peace process comments seriously, not before the new parliament and the new government are formed. The Turkish society expects a solution from us on the Kurdish issue. But in the city of Diyarbakir, in the mostly Kurdish southeast, an Islamic aid group leader was shot dead and two more people were killed in a clash that followed. There has already in the past been sporadic fighting between Islamists and Kurdish militants in the region.